What's going on YouTube? It's your boy DIY Kari coming at y'all with another video. Shout out to everybody that's been watching the videos, liking the videos, and commenting on the videos. Even if you don't like the video, comment. Let me know you don't like it. Let me know you, that you don't like UAs like that video I recently released saying, I don't get nothing but hate from men. Women love UAs. So why y'all hating so much? But that is beside the point. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy DIY Kari, AKA Kari, coming at y'all with another UA review. Today we got a very, very, not even special. It's just a shoe that was pretty much released over the weekend. And I was able to get my hands on the UA version of that shoe. So with that being said, this is an informational video. This is my opinion only. I'm merely teaching myself and teaching y'all still on these shoes that we can get from across the water for a lot cheaper than we can get them out the stores here. So we're going to get right into it. The shoe we talking about today came from my good people over at shoebar.ru. This is going to be the information in case y'all want to check them out. The information will be in the description below, so you don't have to go far to find it. Just go ahead and go down in the description and check them out if you want to. I'm not telling you to if you want to, but we're going to start off with the box. <laughs> this is going to be the box. As you can see, it is that elephant print gray cement color. So you already know what shoes I'm probably talking about. But we don't, as you see, it is a retro three, my size, size 10. And the colorway is Summit White Fire Red. Now to the shoe. Like I said, these released over the weekend and they are actually still sitting, which I kind of figured they would. It's not too special, at least not to me. I'd rather have the black cement, this, this is a plain cement gray. Yes, I know it goes with everything, but it's a generic color to me. Starting at the bottom, you see that fire red at the forefoot and everything else is in that cement gray with the Jordan logo and that black. And you have the aged cell colorway that goes right into the midsole. Do y'all like the age look on shoes nowadays? Or if you're like me, do you like it that you open a box or you're able to just look on your shelf and see that your shoe is starting to age? Let me know in the comments what y'all think about that. I'm still on the fence about seeing shoes that are already aged out the box, but that's just me. That's just me. I don't I don't know what else to say about it. But going to the toe box, it is a crispy tumble leather and the toe box is like it's supposed to be not too wide. Perfect as that. Widow's peak right at the front, got the cement gray around the toe. To the back, you got the cement gray on the heel with that elephant print tab does bounce back. Air Jordan on the front got that air jordan logo on the tongue and that is not well yeah it is tumble just not as much as the leather everywhere else in the insole it does come with paper by the way and so it's gonna be my favorite insole which is dream cell again these did not sell out to me, like I said, I did not think they would. This is gonna be the other one. And both of them come with the flat white laces. They did not come with extra laces. Somebody actually caught them from the store. Let me know if they came with an extra pair. I'm not sure. I don't think so, but let me know. Same thing on here. Bottom, Jordan and the back with the black cell colorway going into the mid so you got that cement gray you got the elephant print 
pretty straightforward shoe. Again, it's not really anything special, but being that it's a UA, it is exactly like the shoe that came out. What can I tell you? Same exact shoe for a cheaper price. Plus, if you do want to buy them, make sure y'all use that discount code. Save yourself some money. But other than that, shoebarart.ru definitely did a great job on these. Let me know what y'all think in the comments of these. Will you be copying? Did you cop on release day? Or you knew they were gonna sit and they flop? I am a threes person, so even though I don't too much like that they came out with a cement gray shoe, I'm still gonna rock them, because I like threes. But at the end of the day, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Did Shoe Bar do a great job on these, or did they not? Y'all will see them on feet, and I tell you right now, they do fit true to size. There's no blue lines, and there was no smell. With that being said, it's your boy DIY Corey signing out. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and come back because I got more on the way. Peace.